yard man thing. Yard man thing, cause this a yard man thing. Yard man thing, cause this a yard man thing. Yard man thing, cause this a yard man thing. Yard man thing, cause this a yard man thing. Yard man thing, cause this a yard man thing. Yard man thing, cause this a yard man thing. Yard man thing, cause this a yard man thing. Welcome to Hackerage Golf, growing the game of golf one hack at a time. If you're new to the channel, give me the thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time Hackerage Golf drops some fire. This is part two of the Hackerage Golf Tournament in Montego Bay, Jamaica. If you saw the last episode, I threw a welcome pairing party on the beach for my guests. Figured it would be a great opportunity for people to mingle and get to know one another. The party was a great way to create a fun, relaxed atmosphere that encouraged socialization and built camaraderie among guests. The DJ rocked out the tunes and the vibes were undeniable. Everybody was having fun. I shared a box of Cohiba Esplendidos with my cigar aficionados and drank some fine spirits. everybody man for being a part of this because to me I, I started Hackers Golf. Hackers Golf was like a, you know it's a dream. I just wanted people to enjoy the game of golf. Introduce people who don't usually play the game to know that this is alright. Because I'm a hack, right? But sometimes I'm the ish, right? So people sometimes people who play with me they know. Right you see what I did right there? Hacker ish. You get it? Alright, so I, this is a, a, a collaboration between me and my brother Stanley's um, nonprofit organization, AE3C. Stanley is the giving arm to Hackerish Golf. Him and myself, we had the idea, we were like, okay, you know what, Hackerish Golf is cool, but what are we doing with Can this? You with so what we did, Stan's over there in the back. Stan's over there in the back. So what we did, my man, give him a hand, man. I, I would literally, act, this would not be happening if it wasn't for this guy right here, all right? He is my right hand. Our, our, uh, my father passed away going on 11 years right now. And when I tell you that this guy has stepped in and taken the place of my dad, I lie you not. He's, wow. he is, he's so deep inside my heart and he helps me out with everything that I just love him so much. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good, good shit, so we did this because um, my mother went to a school up in the mountains in Jamaica called Chantilly Primary. She was born in Manchester, Mandeville, right? So the school that she went to back in the 30s, she literally walked to school barefoot. I know y'all have heard those stories, people have said that shit before, but my mama is the real deal. So when she was able to, when she made a little bit of money and she was able to give back to the school, she always gave back. Our mother passed away four years ago, and she always said, and my other brother, Tim, can attest to this, my mother always said, never forget Chantilly. So what we are doing right now, Tim, come here yourself. It's my other brother, Tim. Give him a round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So me and my two brothers, we put this thing together so that we can keep my mother's legacy alive. Yeah. Some of the proceeds from this tournament are going towards Chantilly. So it's just, you know, keeping that legacy alive, man. I can see my mother and father right now looking down on us and being very proud of what we're doing. Amen. Absolutely. So we're doing some good work, and I thank all of you. None of that would be possible. We wouldn't be able to give any kind of those ancients at all if it wasn't for y'all. So I love you guys. Give yourselves a hand. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I want to thank my sponsors. I want to thank Tommy Waters. Tommy! Tommy! I want to thank Tommy Waters because he came in. And Tommy came in. And it's been amazing. He has been just a dream to work with. Jamaican broiler. Come on up, Tommy. Come thank up, you Tommy. so much. Yeah, Tommy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I can't thank you enough for being here. 
and and um, they have agreed. First of all, he works for a company that supplies all the chicken on this property right here. So we know the owner was eating some jerk chicken. So you guys can thank Tommy for that. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you, thank thank you Tommy. Tommy. Thank you. And, yeah. and his beautiful wife, Stacy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Thank you. So, part three, boys. Thank you. This guy bought half of the field. I love you too, boy. I love you so much. Thank you so much. So, down full of love, bro. Come on up here, man. Come on up here. Go, Dave! My guy, y'all know him, y'all know him. Make his clothes. Make his clothes, thank you. Thank you for your help. Along with KB, this is the team. So you guys can thank them for making a lot of this happen as well. I cannot go any further without thanking Tides of Lava Lod of Deuce Cream. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it. My guy. Yeah, come on up, man. Yeah, yeah come, come on, on. Get up, some love, man. Give some love. Get a light skin and, coming up, though. Yes, and, <laughs> and he is one of my sponsors. Yeah. So, thank you, brother. I can't thank you enough for all the things that we've done. And I, I've been his number one customer for a year, too. 2019, that was his number one customer. Two years running. <laughs> Two years running? <laughs> yeah. Am I still your number one? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. my gosh. I love it. I like it. Repeat customers are the best. I love it, man. Yeah. Yes, I love you, man. Appreciate thank it. you so much. So, okay, guys. We can boss up the music a little bit. My, my. And thank you again from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank my sponsors, uh, True Juice, Part 3 Boys, Deuce, AE3C, uh, Jamaican Brothers, Best Dressed Chicken. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And thank you all for coming. My buddy Reggie Brumman Ballard told some jokes, and we laughed, smoked, and drank the night away. morning came quickly, and it was time for day one of competitive golf. Oh man, it is the first round of the inaugural Hagerish Golf Tournament. And man, I think I'm still drunk from last night. Here's <laughs> the Hyatt Zillara. There he is. You ready to do this, bro? Ready, man. All right, we out here in Jamaica. Yeah, man. Tico Bay, getting ready to put some skills on somebody. <laughs> yes, sir. The inaugural. The inaugural High what? Was yeah. Golf tournament. That goddamn rum got me going. Part three boys in the building. Hey man, we we somewhere. Let me see the hat. <laughs> hey man. There it is. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Representing. We, we representing. somewhere, but I don't know where we at. <laughs> Cinnamon Hill Golf Course is a championship golf course located in Montego Bay, Jamaica. The course opened for playing in 2001 and is situated on 400 acres of lush Jamaican countryside and features breathtaking views of the Caribbean Sea. The course is known for its unique layout which combines both mountain and ocean holes and its challenging terrain. It has a slope rate of 134 and a course rating of 72.6, making it a formidable test for golfers of all skill levels. After a few words from our golf pro at Rose Hall, Jamie Breeden, we teed off. Hanging out to the right, coming back.
It's good. For all my Illini people in the house. Illini in Jamaica. All right. Hanging out to the right. He all right. Golf is a really cool sport. It's a sport that offers a range of physical, mental, and social benefits. Here are just a few of the benefits of golf. Number one, physical fitness. Golf requires walking, swinging, and bending, which can help improve cardiovascular health, increase strength, and promote flexibility. Number two, mental stimulation. Golf requires focus, concentration, and problem-solving skills. The strategic and analytic aspects of the game can help to improve mental agility, memory, and decision-making abilities. Number three, stress relief. Spending time in nature, walking in fresh air, and engaging in an enjoyable activity can help to reduce stress and promote relaxation. Number four, social interaction. Golf is a social sport that provides opportunities to meet new people, network, and develop new friendships. And number five, personal growth. Golf requires discipline, patience, and perseverance, which can help to build character and self-confidence. Overall, golf is a great way to improve physical and mental well-being, as well as social connections. Get out there for the club, man. It is a really amazingly great game. So the first day of the tournament was a success. The next episode will be the last round of play, and we will reveal the winner of the Hackerish Golf Tournament. Thanks for watching. Don't forget guys, please give me the thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time Hackerish Golf is dropping some fire.